Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing my evening skincare routine. I'm really excited to share this with you. So many of you have asked me to go over what it is that I use in the evenings. And so I'm gonna basically do it right here for you. I'm gonna take off my makeup, moisturize, do all that stuff with you here. What I do wanna say is first, I am not a dermatologist. I'm not an esthetician. I do not work in the skincare field. The only things that I'm sharing with you today are the things that I personally use, the experiences that I have personally had with them, and what works for me. I would think this is common sense, but I'm gonna say it anyway. What works for me <laughs> may not work for you, and vice versa. So I encourage you to leave comments down below, share your experiences with us as well, because all of our skin types, skin experiences, our environments, our diets, everything is different. So everything is gonna affect us very, very differently. And again, I'm just merely sharing what I do, what is working for me at this particular moment, because I'm telling you, this skincare regimen that I do now probably would not have worked for me 10 years ago. So it's something that's ever evolving and it's ever changing. The other thing I wanna mention is that when it comes to skincare, and this is, I think, a rude reality because of course, I would love to be able to use a moisturizer or a lotion that kind of fixes all of my problems. But the reality is, and again, this is my experience, and I'm just sharing that with you, without a proper diet, without a proper way to relieve your stress, and without proper rest, there's absolutely no way that you can have healthy skin, unless you're one of the very few lucky ones. But if I don't get enough sleep, I mean, I'm sure we've heard every single person we know, like, oh, look at the bags under my eyes. I didn't get any sleep last night. It happens that quickly. You don't sleep well one night and your skin shows it. So for me, I need good sleep. I need exercise, which for me is my form of stress relief. And I need to eat well. If I don't eat well, which again is different for everyone, um, I follow a paleo diet. That may not work for you, but it works for me. If I ever break that, I notice immediately like my complexion looks different. It looks dulled. If I have too much sugar, my skin definitely starts to look dull and crepey and other things. So that I definitely wanted to emphasize, like all the products that we use can only do so much. So I feel like you need those three basic things in your life for your skin to behave properly. Rest, a form of stress relief, and a diet that really suits you. And then last but not least, I just want to talk about my skin type and just, I guess, kind of a basic philosophy. So I have very dry, sensitive, uh, eczema-prone skin. And my dry skin isn't just the fact that I'm in my mid-40s. I have had dry skin ever since I was very young. I mean, forever. I've always had dry skin. And I developed eczema in high school and it was very, very bad. I had it all over my face, all over my body, and it was all different kinds. So I've had to deal with that. And as I've gotten older, it's, it's one of the few benefits of getting older. Um, I do feel like my eczema is definitely under control. But because of that, and also because of my mother, my mother has always told me, and pardon my language, but she has always said, Michelle, do not fuck with your face. That she's like, aging is natural, just let it happen gracefully. So that's just what I was brought up with. So because of all of this, and because I have such sensitive skin, I never use, you know, acids or anything. I don't, you know, get anything like chemical peels. I very rarely get facials and I stay away from like medical grade skincare or pharmaceutical grade skincare. I'm not sure what the proper term is, um, but I don't use anything like that. I can't even use vitamin A. Um, that is very, very harsh for my sensitive skin. I will see eczema patches kind of come up immediately. They start to look like amoeba-like red splotches on my face and it's just not pretty. So I use very nourishing, gentle kind of skincare. And like I said, I don't use a lot of acids. I don't use a lot of, you know, vitamin A, vitamin C even bothers my skin. In the past, vitamin E has even bothered my skin. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware that this is you know, kind of like the viewpoint I'm coming from. So I have a full face of makeup on. So what I like to do as my first step in my evening skincare routine is remove makeup. So I use the Kogendo Cleansing Spa Water. This is their gigantic size. This is the 650 mil size. Um, it has a pump. I absolutely love this makeup remover. And so I'll use some Shiseido Cottons to remove it. Occasionally, I have those face halos, which are those round discs and they look like little towels. If you wet those and you run it across your face, they remove your makeup 
quite nicely, actually, I have to say. But I only have one pack of those face halos, and it comes with three of those round little towels, and they're all dirty at the moment. So when they are clean, I use a face halo to kind of remove my makeup. As soon as those are all in the hamper, I move to my Kogendo and uh, Shiseido cotton facials. So I need to get more of those face halos. Those are really, really great. So anyway, I'll use the Kogendo to remove my makeup. And I just, you know, I think like we all do, I just kind of wipe it all over my face, circular motions. I kind of leave my eye makeup to last. I think some people remove it first. I always remove it last for some reason. So that is how much I get off. And then I usually flip it around and then I use the other side. And I like these Shiseido facial cottons because they are large enough to kind of work on my face. And even after, you know, doing this, they don't really fall apart. I mean, eventually it will, because it is pretty soft cotton, but it withstands me using both sides of it. So that's why I really like these. And then I will go in with another one and just press it onto my eye. I just like to make sure it kind of breaks down everything, especially like eyeliner, mascara, and this will remove waterproof makeup. So then I just swipe that. So it removes quite a bit. And then what I do is I fold it in half and then I just kind of go in and remove like any kind of eyeliner or mascara. Do the same thing to the other eye. All right, so that is my first step. And I just want to show you some other kind of makeup removers that I use if I have any kind of like stubborn eye makeup. And I love the Glossier Milky Oil. So this is kind of split between oil and a micellar water and you just shake it up and you can just squirt it out onto a cotton pad, just like those Shiseido ones. And then that will get rid of anything that's like really, really stubborn. This pretty much cuts through most everything I've had to deal with. I just had that one Japanese mascara that can make mascara that's supposed to hold a curl. That stuff was really tough and I had to go in with more of an oil. So this worked on that. And then if I have really stubborn kind of like eyeliner or mascara or anything like that, sometimes I'll go in with a Q-tip and the Tatcha One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. And what I'll do is I'll just it's more, it's less the cleanser and more this little pump because I could get it right onto the tip of this Q-tip. I just do a little squeeze and then I kind of let it soak into the Q-tip tip, the swab part. And then I'll just go in and really kind of work it into my lash line. And there, see, there was a little bit left. And then I'll take the clean side and just kind of like wipe all the oil away because I don't like that oil sitting there gives me that fuzzy vision. I am a bit of a crazy stickler when it comes to removing eye makeup. I know a lot of people, you know, they'll wake up and they'll have like black smudges and that's kind of normal. That makes me crazy. Um, I can't, I can't live that way. <laughs> so I really, really make sure that all of my eye makeup is gone. So that's basically just kind of getting rid of all the makeup and making sure all my eye makeup is removed. So I do like a two-step cleanse basically. And so next what I'll do is I'll go in basically with like a balm or an oil of some sort. And my favorite, favorite, favorite is the Retrouve Luminous Cleansing Elixir. I have two backups <laughs> in my closet and I just, I just love it. So it's a pump and let me see, I'm going to just pump. I just pump out two pumps and here's the texture. So it's very easy to spread, but it's thicker than an oil. And I just, I, I just love it. It feels so, so good on the skin. And I just massage this in and I feel like now after having gotten all the makeup off, now I'm actually like washing my skin. So this is obviously very, very oil-based, and it's great if you have any makeup left over. And you guys probably noticed already, but I apply this to dry skin. There's absolutely no fragrance. And then what I'll do is take a damp washcloth, or you can just rinse it off. But I like taking a damp washcloth and just gently kind of removing it. And you can see, well, the Kogan does, does such a good job. There really isn't that much makeup left over. But sometimes if I rushed that step, you can see a lot of makeup kind of come off. All right, so next step is toner. And I use toner 
uh, whenever water has hit my face. So toner for me kind of restores my pH balance. I know people use toner for other reasons. Um, if they have oily skin, it's to kind of get rid of any more excess oil, uh, kind of clear up pores, uh, maybe exfoliate, things like that. But for me, I like to use toner to just kind of rebalance my pH so that all of my other skincare products can work properly. So my favorite is the La Mer The Tonic. And again, Shiseido Facial Cotton. I just put a little bit on there and then just gently swipe it all over. Now it's important not to wipe away any excess. You really want the toner to do its thing. So if I feel like my skin is still feels really wet, what I'll do is just kind of help it out a little bit. I'll just kind of massage the toner into my skin. Again, not, not roughly, you know, I'm just kind of helping it work its way into my skin. All right, and my next step is the um, Sicilier Essential Skin Care Lotion. This is a lotion that was basically formulated to really penetrate deeply into your skin to kind of, I don't know, kind of like pave the way for all of your other skincare. So it has a very runny texture and I'm just gonna hold up my hand quickly cause it's gonna run down. It has a very runny texture and that's what helps it penetrate the skin. So I just pump out one pump and I just kind of press it into my skin and then I just massage it in. All right, this next step is actually fairly new to me, so I can't really vouch for it. So far, my skin doesn't react to it adversely, so that's always a good sign, um, but I don't know if I'm actually seeing much of a difference. Um, but this is the Fresh Black D Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence, and this is supposed to be anti-pollution age delay, and so I will throw this on now. I'll just kind of dump out a couple drops there, rub it in my hands, and then kind of do like the guy aftershave move. I'll just press it into the skin. So it's supposed to increase moisture and luminosity for radiant lustrous complexion. It's also supposed to smooth, soften the look of fine lines, refine the appearance of skin, boosting its resilience and vitality. I mean, I think my skin looks nice after I use it. I, again, I just don't know if it's like Yes, like this is a definite like step that you have to take in your evening skincare routine. I'm not sure about that, but so far so good. All right, next is the very controversial step in my skincare. And that's pretty much why I said what I said in, in the beginning of this video. So my next step is oil. And I know a lot of people use oil last. I think that's great. I know there's a lot of reasons for using oil last, but I have done it both ways. I used to use oil last because that's what I was told. I was using the Sunday Riley Juno oil, which is lovely. I was using that last and it was great. I really liked it. And then I switched over to Sicily. Uh, this is the black rose oil, by the way. And I was talking to the esthetician there, all the sales ladies, the regional training manager, like everyone there. And they're like, no, you use this after like any kind of essence, um, lotions or whatever, because this is for subdermal activity. It's not supposed to sit on your skin. And I know a lot of people are like, well, oil just sits on your skin. Your skin will eventually absorb it. It will, it will eventually absorb it. And while it may not absorb it quickly, as quickly as something as thin as this, or even something like this lotion, it will eventually absorb it. So what I like to do is all of these steps that you just saw me do, I will do this up until the oil and then I'll take a break. I'll brush my teeth, I'll take my contacts out, I'll fix my hair, I'll change into my pajamas. Um, sometimes I do all of the cleaning pretty early on. Like sometimes I'll do all of it before dinner and then I'll put the oil on and then go down, have dinner or whatever it is, watch TV, and then I'll come back upstairs and finish the rest of my skincare routine. So I do like to break it up at this oil part, but this is when I put oil on. And again, everyone's experience is gonna be different, but I have noticed that when I use oil now versus my last step, my skin looks so much better. It looks so much more plump. It looks so much more healthy, youthful. It looks so much more vibrant. I was really starting to develop quite a few like fine lines, not even like the crow's feet, but almost here, probably because of the way I smile, these right here. I was developing a lot of fine lines there and I don't know, they're pretty much gone. I mean, my skin is far from perfect, but I don't have a lot of 
fine lines. And if you guys have been with me for a long time, you know that I used to smoke three packs of cigarettes a day. I used to sunbathe, which you can definitely see like my sunspots and stuff. Those are definitely coming out and proving I was a naughty person when I was younger. But yeah, I smoked like three packs a day, Marlboro Reds too, for like 10 years. And I definitely was developing a lot of fine lines. But ever since I started this routine using the oil now, I feel like I see a significant difference. And again, I'm not saying that that's what you need to do, but I think what you should do is experiment a little bit, that you shouldn't just read an article or just listen to whatever the person said at the counter or whatever it is. I think you should try different things and see, you know, maybe using it last works for you or maybe using it at this point works for you. So anyway, enough of that spiel. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this oil and I don't need a lot of this oil. This oil is very, very effective. It's very, very, um, I don't wanna say dense because it, it's oil, um, but it's thick. It's definitely on the thicker side. So I use maybe two, three drops. I'll use three and spread that around. And then I just, again, I just press it into my skin. And I do it all over. I am, like I said, very, very dry. So there, so like I mentioned before, this is the point at which I will take like a little bit of a break from my skincare routine. The break could be five minutes, the break could be a couple of hours. It kind of just depends on my day. Sorry, I feel like I have a little fuzzy right here. And then I'll continue on with my routine. But for the purposes of this video, I will just go ahead and continue on with my routine. And the next thing is the serum that I use. So this Clarins Double Serum, I received this in PR. I received this through Octoly and I was just kind of curious about it or whatever. I can't tell you how wonderful this serum is. I'm actually really, really surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised, but I'm really surprised at how much I enjoy the serum. And on most nights when I apply the serum, I feel like I can see an immediate difference. And I think when it comes to skincare, that's huge. Usually skincare for me, I see, feel, sense a difference you know, after a month or so. But I feel like I see a difference almost immediately. So I've been using this for quite some time. That's all I've used. It actually has an interesting dispenser here where you can basically adjust how much product comes out, like a small amount or a large amount. So I just have it on the small amount and I just do one squirt. That's it, just that little bit. But I rub it around and again, I just press it onto my skin. Of course, down my neck, up my neck. So here's my skin after that serum. Now, I'm not just talking about the glow that the serum gives me because that's just the serum. That's just the, the liquid consistency of the serum. But I feel like, do you feel like my skin looks like more plumped? It's like almost immediate. This stuff is really, really amazing. And I think when I hauled this and I mentioned this, I think a few of you felt the same way and really, really love this serum. But I feel like this is never talked about. This is probably like the best kept secret on YouTube, but this Clarins Double Serum is pretty amazing. All right, so the oil and the serum has been applied. And for me, those are products that work for under your dermis, underneath your actual visible layer of your skin. Again, these are things that help like subdermally on um, the health of your skin. So now we're gonna move into moisturizers and moisturizers, at least the ones that I have, are meant to treat your dermis, this actual exterior part of your skin. So I have my eye and lip cream, I have a neck cream, and then I have my final cream that I put on in the evening. So I use the Sicilier Eye and Lip Contour Cream, and then for neck cream, I use the Amora Vixa one. Now these are two steps that if I'm tired, lazy, traveling, I don't necessarily pack these things. If I wanna skip something, this is what I skip, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it for you now. So here's the consistency of the eye and lip cream. It is very, very thick, yet it doesn't feel uh, too dense and it definitely doesn't feel um, like it's clogging up any of my pores or anything. I know I'm supposed to tap, but I like to swipe, I'm sorry. <laughs> And I also like to put it on my lid. I, so, I know some of you commented that you're not supposed to put eye cream on your lid. When I say I'm dry, I'm dry. I don't have an oily eyelid. And I know they mentioned that you can use this on your eyelid. So I do, and I will just press that in. Get all this crow's feet area. This product, by the way, it also comes with, uh, I think it's called a Raduki. It's basically like a roller. And so you're supposed to use it in conjunction with the roller. Um, I, I use the roller when I have time, and that's probably like a couple times a week. Generally, I just apply it straight to my skin without the rolling before. And then to my lip. 
And then here's my Amora Vixen neck cream. And I will just put some basically on either side of my throat. And then I will just kind of rub upwards and massage that in. I have one of those scrapers that I'll use occasionally, but I don't know. I don't know if that actually does anything either, but I just like massaging it in, just kind of bring it up my jawline. All right, and last but not least is my night cream. So I use the La Mer, the moisturizing soft lotion. I can't live without this. Um, because I have eczema, the La Mer cream is awesome. Uh, one of the ingredients in here that people have demonized this for is petrolatum, but that is actually what really helps eczema because eczema is a result of a very kind of leaky skin barrier. And what petrolatum does is it provides like a false barrier to the skin. So that's why I like using this as a last step. It really just seals my face in. And I think people use oils that way, it kind of seals their face in. So because I use La Mer, it wouldn't make sense to use an oil kind of on top of it. It's not gonna really penetrate. So that's another reason why I like to use the oil when I do. So this is the moisturizer that comes in a pump, which I really enjoy. And I just pump out two pumps and I put this all over. Hands, neck, face, like everywhere. So I keep the La Mer bedside. So what I do basically is I let all of that skincare really kind of like settle in, do its thing, work its magic. And then as I get into bed, you know, watch some TV or whatever. And then I lay down right before I close my eyes, I'll just take this, I'll pump out my two pumps and then I'll put this on my face. So I guess you could say this is kind of like my mask. I use this every single night. It's my last step. And again, I put it all over my face, all over my neck and all over my hands. I have really, really dry hands too. So that is it. I look like a total grease ball because I just threw all that stuff on one after the other. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful or informative. Again, I just wanna emphasize that we're all gonna have very, very different experiences when it comes to skincare. And I think we all just need to experiment and see what works for you. So let's go ahead and have a discussion down below in the comment section, share your experiences, especially if you've used any of these products that I mentioned. Um, I would love to hear what your experiences were, positive or negative. Um, I think all that information is great. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.